a dirge bed. Давайте подождем. Нет, нам, наверное, наверху надо подождать. Да. Вот тут. Ну все, отойди. We're in the kitchen. Джонни уже тут сидит. Shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? How are you? Okay, I guess, but, you know, sad as hell. Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah, blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. She likes such a gunk now. Mr. Stern. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? So what's this plan all about? I'd like to hear the answer to that, too. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a prime tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine, I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on Tom. Chip's impulse is to plant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. The solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There are split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right, but I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. How did you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and clouds? Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. All right, gotta see it to believe. Someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a Kung Fu training virtue. И чё? Опа! Mm-mm, not convinced. If I'm gonna count on ninja dolls, I'm gonna need to see some real action. Like, wanna spar? What else? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! Опа! Опа! You there? Can you hear me? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Well, it's nice. Woo! Gotta do some Please? cardio! 
If you've got something to say, just say it. Who, me? This is my impressed face. Okay. Probably settles it. The chip works. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out. Clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato's the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment, H8 Mega Tower, topmost floor. It's a penthouse, almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Hull points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two pronged as well. Boyas Matro online, but you might sit. This just might work. If we get him in his apartment where he thinks he's completely safe, bosses will understand what we're looking to demonstrate. My, my. There's a flickering in that skull sponge of yours after all. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Rather not have to flatline anyone. What she said. Hope is it won't be necessary. Oh, Я тоже надеюсь. Потому что в прошлый раз я там всех положил. При первом прохождении. Count me in, Judy. I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. <sighs> I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do will usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Right. Thanks. Nice of you to think of that. V, everything okay? Да нет, вообще не окей. You don't look so... <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna clap? Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip? Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. I want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home.
Ну раз такое дело, надо пошариться, что тут у нее есть интересного. О. Как мило завтрак приготовила. Ох. Да, ща приеду, подожди. Действительно, неплохо. Да, конечно, Джонни, все говно, кроме тебя. Это самый крутой у нас музыкальный исполнитель. Ну что ж, поедем, посмотрим на этот Василиск. 